back to our virtual classroom. Today, we will be having a fruitful discussion about... And I am hoping that you are comfortable while watching and listening. Also, at the end of our learning session today, you are expected to master our learning objectives. And our learning objectives for today are, first, you have to define research. Second, comprehend the importance of research in daily life. And lastly, realize your own research experiences and knowledge. But before I will start with our discussion proper for today's session, let us do a muscle relaxation activity. So may I request you to focus your attention on one thing. Please sit comfortably. Are you now comfortable? No noise? Free from any distraction? Do you hear me loud and clear? Sit very still and close your eyes and think about how you are feeling. Happy? Sad? Mad? Scared? Excited? Something else? Think about now on your feeling. As you are sitting quietly, Place a small object in your hand, a pencil, eraser, or something else. Notice how heavy the object is. Think about what it feels like in your hand. Notice one thing about the object. Next, look around you. Focus your eyes on the nearest moving object. Is it living or non-living thing? Just stare and think. How important it was to you. Then internalize. If that object is not around anymore, do you think there is something that will change to your life? Do you notice anything important you didn't value before? Alright! I think you feel really calm right now. Or maybe you feel like a blank sheet. Okay, here is the cue. We did that exercise because I would like you to reflect this question. What comes in your mind when you encounter sudden change in your life? Hmm, let me guess. Tense, uncertain, afraid, or maybe excited. Let me tell you, human long time ago don't cook their food. They eat raw meat. The moment they discovered fire and bring it inside their cave, the raw meat eventually smoked, and they noticed the sudden change to its taste and texture. Aha! Taste good! Then, out of curiosity, they put the raw meat on the fire and taste it again. Aha! Taste better! And there, that changed the palais history of the human being. So what this story means? Mm -hmm. You got it right! Human being shows the characteristics of being inquisitive, curious, and having intense hunger for improvement and development. And that is where our topic rooted. Research. And what is research anyway? What comes first to your mind when you encounter the word research? Experiment? Investigation? or inquiry, or maybe a product of development. Anyway, always remember, research is the systematic application of the scientific inquiry in order to find solutions to problems and contribute to the body of existing knowledge. Uh-huh. Actually, many students are afraid when asked to do research. This is probably due to the misconception that research is a job for professionals like scientists, DepEd and CHED employees, or a requirement for students who want to finish tertiary, master's, or postdoctoral program. As a senior high school student, you might have your own conception of research. Am I right? Further, in our session today, you will understand the importance of research in daily life. In other words, you will know that research simply means searching for an answer 
or discovering knowledge. It is a careful study that is done to find and report new knowledge about specific topic. It is designed and planned to collect appropriate data, analyze the collected data, tabulate and interpret data to better understand, describe phenomenon as cited by Abilia 2016. But the question is, why research is important in our daily life? Let me describe it one by one. And we will start with the facts that research gather relevant information, improve quality of life, understand history, and lastly, it helps people attain personal and professional development. When we say gather relevant information, that means the results of researches are used as a springboard in conducting more researches or in planning new projects. For example, a research on the basic needs of the target customers can help companies develop and market a new line of products. Sounds great? Okay, I will give you another specific example. SWS or Social Weather Station gather relevant information where they reported that Filipinos experienced great extent of stress based on their mobile phone survey dated May 4 to 10, 2020. They do survey on Filipino experiences by hunger and 68% experienced hunger. When it comes to job status, they reported that 58% has a job but not receiving a pay, while 51% has a job and receiving a pay. And on this table, by sex and age, you will see that women experience greater stress than men. And people belong to late adolescent stage experience greater stress. Maybe you are wondering on why SWS or Social Weather Station had to collect data during the times of pandemic. Am I right? What do you think are the purposes of this mobile phone survey? Let me hear from you. You got it right! It will serve as a springboard in programs plans or projects of the government or private sectors in making improvements or developments toward the quality of people's daily life. And be reminded that research must improve the quality of life. Meaning to say, research undertakings are basically geared toward improving the quality of life. The major breakthroughs in the field of communication, Transportation, medicine, entertainment, and food and nutrition are all possible because of researches conducted. Through continuous research, these breakthroughs are further improved to make people's lives convenient and comfortable. Do you agree? Let me hear from you. Very good. And I would like to inform you that during the onset of COVID-19 across the globe, researchers, educators, government leaders, private individuals, and scientists conducted various experiments, investigations, initiatives, strategies, and researches to combat the coronavirus spreads. Many people who were infected by the virus experienced difficulty in breathing. Imagine that? And that pushes organization to build a new fleet of ventilators in the United States. But the mission failed as reported by the New York Times published date dated March 29, 2020. And many countries never stop in doing innovations to address the scarcity of medical equipments during the pandemic. They are all looking forward to expand the number of ventilators. And actually, in Cebu City, Philippines, as the coronavirus spreads, the greater the problems they experienced, they encountered in terms of 
scarcity of ventilators and hospital beds. But since research is about improving the quality of life, Rappler dated May 16, 2020, reported that government put specific communities in Cebu City under lockdown. It is implemented to ensure that the spreads of coronavirus will be stopped or lessened. And that action or decision is for securing and sustaining the quality of life of Cebuanos. And of course, their decision is a result of careful analysis of data provided by the Department of Health or DOH. Alright? So our next concept is that research helps people understand history. Do you agree? Let me hear from you. Very good. That means that understanding our history can help us better understand our current society and the behavior of the people as a whole. Research plays an important role not only in helping us trace our history, but also in understanding and providing possible solutions to the pervading problems of our current society. I will give you a specific example. The 1918 influenza pandemic was the most severe pandemic in recent history. It was caused by H1N1 virus and it spreads worldwide during 1918 to 1919. And it is estimated that about 500 million to 100 million people or one-third of the world's population become infected with this virus and killed an estimated 20 million to 50 million victims, including some 675,000 Americans, according to History.com. And did you know that during the flu pandemic of 1918, the New York City Health Commissioner tried to slow the transmission of the flu by ordering businesses and to open and close on staggered ships to avoid overcrowding on the subways. And did you also know that medical experts discovered that influenza 1918 gave symptoms such as chills, fever, fatigue, skin turning blue, and their lungs filling with fluid that caused them to suffocate and die. And also, it was reported by History.com that there were shortage of physicians and other health workers because of this virus. It fueled officials in some communities imposed quarantines, ordered cities to wear masks, and shut down public places, including schools, churches, and theaters. People were advised to avoid shaking hands and to stay indoors. So, what is the point? The point is that the government officials worldwide today used history of influenza 1918 to offer suggestions for how to safely and successfully respond to the COVID-19 crisis. Scholars believe that we can draw many useful lessons from the 1918 to 1919 experience in terms of how to minimize cases, flattening the curve. We were advised to stay inside our houses, wear face masks in public places, and observe strict social distancing all the times. We even had lockdown in some selected communities. And at last, finally, research helps us attain personal and professional development. Do you agree? Let me hear from you. Very good! Research challenges us to become better individuals through the new ideas, perspectives, and skills that we can get when doing research. Personally, you will gain more knowledge and thus widen your perspective about life. And professionally, you will not only meet your academic or school requirements, but you will also advance to a more challenging and exciting world of learning. Alright?
As we are done to our lesson proper, try to ask yourself, have you experienced writing an essay or narrative report during your junior high school grades? If your answer is yes, then lucky for you because you have already a meaningful experience and knowledge in crafting ideas into a piece of paper. The only thing that you need now is very good to internalize, try to reflect on how you will make your journey in Practical Research 1 really meaningful and contributory to the school community as a whole. Also, try to think on these following questions that I will give to you. Listen carefully. Number one, why is there a need to conduct research? Number two, what practical benefits can you get from research? Number three, as senior high school student with your respective track and strand, do you still need to conduct research? Why or why not? And now, as you are facing a lot of change in society today, how do you plan or see your research journey in new normal in K-12 education? Are you going to conduct a study that will benefit students, parents, school or community? How it may help people or educational system in times of pandemic? With those reflective questions, do you find research important to our daily life? Yes? Very good! You got it right! And anyway, before we end our learning session today, kindly answer this quick assessment. Are you ready? Kindly get your pen and your paper? Alright, listen carefully. I will read the question and the choices for you. Number one. The results of research are used as a blank in conducting more researches or in planning new projects. Letter A, springboard. Letter B, future plan. Letter C, draft. Or letter D, program. Are you done? Okay, let us proceed to number two. Research undertakings are basically geared toward improving the blank. Letter A, quality of life. Letter B, quality of self. Letter C, program. Or letter D, history. Are you done writing your answer? Alright, let us proceed to number three. Understanding our history can help us better understand our current society and the blank of the people. Letter A, action. Letter B, thinking. Letter C, speaking. Or letter D, behavior. Are you done? Alright, let us proceed to number four. Research challenges us to become better individuals through the new ideas, blank and blank. Letter A, Perspective and skills. Letter B, perspective and manners. Letter C, knowledge and values. Or letter D, knowledge and vision. Are you done writing? Okay, let us proceed to number five. Blank is the systematic application of the scientific inquiry. Letter A, research. Letter B, essay. Letter C, narrative report, or letter D, assignment. I think you are done writing all your answers. So, I am so amazed. Wow, you finally finished the session. I am looking forward for our next session with your active participation again. And I would like to thank you for listening. And of course, happy writing!